So I have a um, four-channel brain machine. I can uh, simultaneously measure four people's brain waves with a sensor connected to each port. Today I'm going to use this one. It's more simple, two-channel brain machine. And they're all portable, so I have freedom to move in the environment. And this data will be generated live. The soundtrack will be uh, sonified in real time, depending on the strobe light and the effects I get. visiting research fellow in Sussex University where I'm studying consciousness and I use brain waves to measure altered states of consciousness used to be hypnosis and now I focus mainly on lucid dreaming and the neural correlates of sleep so for tonight's performance I can't go to sleep here so I'm using a classic dream machine from the 1960s designed by Brian Gissin and the science of Dr. Gray Walter, the cybernetician uh, from strobe research into epilepsy. And I incorporate the strobes, the dream machine, and the EEG together in a coalescence of a performance that explores the alpha brainwave state, which is a relaxed state near to sleep. Um, you can entrain the brain through the light, through the photic entrainment of the flashing, flickering effects. Um, I'm also inspired by the artwork of Remedio Varo, a Mexican surrealist painter. So I will have a costume for this evening's performance. This is part of it. Um, I don't like showing the technology anymore, so I will disguise the uh, brainwave monitor and I will be evoking an atmosphere of some of her paintings, in particular Insomnia from 1947, Psychic Alchemy, she combines elements of naturalism and female empowerment in her paintings and another painting, The Creation of the Birds, from 1957. And this is an evolutionary stage, so I'm not sure how the performance will eventually be, but I'm working on this for the next few months. Hmm. So in Sussex, uh, I go to lectures for COGS, for co Cognitive um, Science, and I work with some of the uh, neuroscientists there. I'm allowed to utilize their published papers on sleep uh, altered states to influence my work as an artist. I, um, I wouldn't be able to create any artwork without their resources. Thank <laughs> you. 